Yeah, and new at 10 tonight, three fox attacks in two days against hikers at Saguaro National Park West. Hunting for a fox, Arizona Game and Fish, along with the National Park Service, sending out a warning to visitors and hikers. Be careful out there. News for Tucson's Eric Fink is live in Midtown tonight with the details on this hunt. Eric. Well, Sean, Monica, rare. Three fox attacks in two days with the latest coming around two this afternoon at Saguaro National Park West. Now, Game and Fish and the National Park Service, they are warning people tonight. They're working to catch this fox. Now, I've also talked earlier this afternoon with some experienced hikers. They tell me they're concerned. It's shocking to me. I mean, we hike at least once a week. Our yeah. summers, we're teachers, so anytime we have a break, anytime during the summer, we're gone for a week, two weeks, sometimes three weeks, and all we do is hike. Mike Hartz and Lauren Fibich are, are about to get married. They're also longtime hikers who came to trek up the trails at Saguaro National Park all the way from Buffalo. And they're taken aback by the fact that a likely rabid fox has attacked three people in less than 48 hours. We've been going to the national parks for quite a few years now, and I don't think I've ever heard of, you know, nocturnal animals attacking during the day and having that many happen yeah. at once. And they're not the only ones. I can't remember when we've had three wildlife attacks in the same area in the past 15 years, so it's unusual. Mark Hart with Arizona Game and Fish says all three attacks happened off the Hugh Norris Trail. This sign about a potential rabid fox is now up warning visitors. Game and Fish in the National Park Service hoping to get to this fox and put it down before it gets to anyone else. At least two of these hikers did another thing we would recommend, fight back, protect yourself. They both, according to Game and Fish, fended off the fox using their trekking poles. And Mark Hart says that suggests to him that this fox is very aggressive. In this setting, Mike and Laura know you need to be very aware of your surroundings. You need to hear the sounds of nature that are going on around you. Every rustle, every, you know, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the rustling in the, in the brush, uh, twig snap, whatever it is, you know, a hoot, a hout, whatever it is. I you, think there's at least three or four times a hike where I'll stop and I'll be like, did you hear that? Yeah. You know, and we'll stop and we'll make sure that it wasn't anything. And if you're out on a hike and you see an animal uh, experiencing anything unusual or in, in some type of unusual fashion, leave the area. That's the best advice. Now, Game and Fish and the National Park Service, they've called off the search, of course, for the night. They will pick right back up tomorrow morning looking for this fox. And if you have any information that can help wildlife officials catch the fox, please call 623-236-7201. Live in Midtown tonight, I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. Back to you. Thank you, Eric.